Welcome to a demonstration on how to take off wall areas or vertical areas within the BuildSoft Takeoff 2 or BT2 application. We'll start within a job. On the left hand side here we can create items and headings. For example, we'll create an, a heading called Walls and then underneath that we can insert the different wall types. We nominate in the result type column vertical area and we have an option for selecting vertical area less openings also. I'll create a couple of wall systems both as a vertical area and then I'll load in a plan into the viewport by clicking the insert a plan button selecting a file which could be a PDF or CAD file select open That'll load the plan into the viewport when we select the import button. When we load a plan in for the first time, we need to calibrate the plan by inserting a dimension on the plan. For example, if I zoom in on a section of the plan, do two left clicks at either end of a known dimension, insert the length of that dimension and click OK at the bottom, that calibrates the plan. What I can then do is highlight either one line or multiple lines or items within the estimate but in this case I'll show you that with the 13 mil wall system I'll plot that in orange I'll nominate that I want the wall to be solid so when I look at it in the 3D view I'll see a solid wall but we can also nominate transparent so we can see through the wall on the right hand side here I can give the wall a name, for example we can insert a room name, let's say boardroom, I can nominate a factor, default factor is 1 but if we wanted to calculate a quantity for both sides of a wall we could insert a factor of 2, we nominate the height of the wall and then I'll zoom in on a selection of, or section of the plan and I'll plot where the 13 mil wall system will be. I'm left clicking at each point and when I get the end of the wall I can do a right click. The software then tells me that that would be 35.32 square meters based on a wall height of 2450. If the 16 mil wall system was a different height I can insert the new height on the right hand side here. We can select a different colour to plot with. So each wall system could have different colours. If I then move on to the plan, start plotting where the 16mm wall system will be. You can insert curves quite easily by clicking, holding your mouse key down and bending the line left or right to create a curved wall, a couple of curved walls there, one more here, I can right click if the wall ends there, I could zoom out and then zoom back in where some more 16 mil walls may be and you can see by right clicking we now have 13 mil wall system at 35 square meters the 16 mil wall system at 149 square meters. As mentioned before you can multiply factors to walls if you wanted to have a quantity calculated on both sides of the wall. We can also now click on the view tab at the top and select 3D view on the ribbon and that will show us those walls in a 3D view. If I highlight the 13 mil wall system it shows me in green where the 13 mil walls are if I highlight the 16 mil wall system, you can see now that's highlighted in green. You can rotate this image, you can print it out via report, if we go to the data tab and click shapes. So you could either print a hard copy of the 3D or 2D markup, you can also export the report to an Excel spreadsheet, PDF, 
or Word document. If I went back to the 2D view and printed the same report, you can see that it will show you the different coloured markups in a 2D view also. It will also list the shapes and their quantities at the bottom. And if required, we can then apply rates, which could be in supply and install rates, or just supply only rates, to the wall systems and a markup if required, to calculate a budget or a quote for installing the relevant wall system. I hope this is of assistance. Thank you.